Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the Nevada Desert Homesteaders channel that we're starting, and I'm going to be talking about goals that we have for that for that channel and for the homestead. Actually, most of it is like homestead goal goals and what we're going to be putting in and what we need. And so I wanted to start out like this weekend. Um, I'm getting excited because it's close to my weekend. Today is my Thursday, but it's actually Friday. Um, so tomorrow evening, after I get off of work, I'll be going to get some more sod for to uh, put down so we can clear some of that dust. You know, because after we cleared our our little area, it got real like dusty and and our soil is real light and like sandy kind of so when the wind comes up it blows all the dirt and uh, hits the trailer and goes in the windows and makes a mess of everything so we gotta we searched it out and um, we're gonna put some sod down because that kind of gives it like a little uh, dust control and it's cheaper than having to buy gravel right now um, I can get bags of sod at Walmart. It's off brand, Walmart brand, but it's a, I don't know if it's a Walmart brand, but it's off brand. It's $1.78 a bag, and they're three quarters of a cubic square foot. At Home Depot, we last time we got three bags at Home Depot, they were like $7.86 a piece, and they were 1.5 cubic feet. So, I mean, there's quite a cost difference you get twice as much in the seven dollar bag but it's only a dollar seventy eight or dollar eighty seven for the Walmart brand the cheap Walmart stuff but it acts pretty much the same because we kind of got a little bit of both last time so uh, we're gonna be putting down more sod this weekend and I'm gonna be working on our videos for our new page it's going to be called Nevada Desert Homesteaders and uh, we'll put like an intro video we'll try to work on that this weekend but I am going to work on other videos like I mentioned on the last video that we had um, I'm going to be working on our other videos this weekend also to post on this channel and the Homesteaders channel so when it is up and running you guys got something to go um, search for it'll, it'll come up hopefully right away but uh so our goals for for right now, our immediate goals is a a better cell phone internet signal boost. So we decided to go with Starlink, and um, it's an immediate goal, but it's something um, that's going to take three to four weeks. Um, our goal before that, so we can save the money for Starlink, is a solar generator. And we looked them up and I think we're going to go... Now comment down below if you think something's better or or you know of a better system. But we're going to go with uh, Blue Eddy. I think it's 800 watt or more. Um, it's like 599 for the generator itself without the... The, uh, solar panel but we can charge it for like the three to four hours it takes to charge we can charge it with our other generator which is a champion generator it's 45 45 50 starting watts or rev up watt watts what do they call it and 35 50 running watts um, so we're gonna temporarily be charging our solar generator with our gas generator until we can get some solar panels to connect to the solar generator of course so that'll help out it'll save us about four hundred dollars a month in fuel and uh, so that four hundred dollars a month will go toward the uh, Starlink um, initially it's 599 plus 135 because we're off grid and it's not a we don't have a home address for that that piece of property yet because they want you to get a um, right away and, and then it's a bunch of red tape and it takes about a year to get approved because they're all backlogged and uh, so that's our second goal our first goal would be the solar generator 
so we could get the Starlink. Our uh, third goal, Starlink, which is the second goal, our third goal would be building a shed for storage. A storage shed and maybe add on to that like a little studio room. Um, that would be the third thing we do. Um, I also want to put a deck around around the trailer temporarily until we can get a, a house built or something, you know, more stable to live in than a trailer. But uh, so that would be our third goal would be to put up a shed. Fourth goal would be to put in a deck around our trailer and maybe a little yard so we, our little chihuahua can run around. And uh, so, um, other than that, we're gonna like goal number five would be solar lights and fencing to go around the piece that we have right now that we're working on. Um, our that's our short term goals, and that might take a few months for, for all those to flourish. Um, so, our midterm goals would be a water system upgrade. And we'll be posting videos on all this stuff. Um, a water system upgrade right now, we're only using two 55 gallon drums. One I haul the water with and then we transfer it from the truck, the back of the truck to the trailer in the extra 55 water, water drum. Um, so we can only haul 55 gallons at a time. So we definitely need a major upgrade on that. Um, Ultimately, in the long term, we're going to get an 1,100-gallon tank, and in the short term, we're going to use a 275-gallon totes. Um, so we'll get two 275-gallon totes first, so we can fill one and then transfer it over the other one. Uh, that'll last us a lot longer on water. Right now, we're going through um, like 110 gallons every week and a half or so. So it would definitely be an upgrade and uh, uh, we wouldn't have to run back and forth to town so much for water once we get those 275 gallon totes, not to mention the 1100 one that we want to get later on. So our, uh, I guess, midterm goal, the next midterm goal would be a greenhouse garden. Actually, there's like four goals that I want out of that. Um, uh, greenhouse garden, I want chickens for the, for the fertilizer and maybe rabbits for fertilizer because both chicken poop and <laughs> rabbit poop you can uh, mix directly into your fertilizer for the, for the garden. And uh, so out here it's hot during the summer but our winters are kind of long. So we were thinking about having a greenhouse so we could grow longer and then we could grow our winter crops without them freezing. So that's our uh, midterm goals. So and then uh, so a chicken coop, a rabbit coop, a greenhouse, and a garden, and a water system upgrade would be our midterm goals. And then after that, our long-term goals would be like a workshop studio, um, kind of like a studio apartment I want to make. So like a studio apartment connected with a wood shop and maybe a carport, but uh, that'd be a big, you know, a decent sized project. And then our long term goal, of course, is the house. And that might take another year and a half to start, or it may not, we'll see how it goes. But, uh, so I'm going to cut this video pretty short because yesterday, well not yesterday, but last time I made a video, um, I was on my way back home loading the video um, up to you, you know, loading the video to YouTube and it, three hours into my trip back, it takes about three hours and 45 minutes to four hours to get back. Um, three hours into my trip, I lost data signal. So YouTube went out and it stopped loading. So 30 seconds later when it came back, it started reloading, but it went from 77% all the way back down to 
I'm like, oh, great. So I lost signal after I got on our road to get home. And during the night, it was like a real slow load. So it like loaded 5% overnight for the system that we have out there. <laughs> And so after I came back to work the next morning, it started again and started reloading and it finally posted after like an hour of being in town again. So that was an 18 minute video, we're at 10 and a half already and it might run a few minutes longer but I wanted to see if I can upload this before um, the 3 hour mark where I get cut off. So. so We'll see you on the next video, and um, it might be in a few days. And so take care, be safe, and do what you love.